just finished paddling, wasn't too far. Well, it's a little ways. From the shore back there, across to this in little island. Gonna go, go around it, check it out. Roxy is just whines the whole time. She loves being in the water, but she loves to whine about it. She wants to be on whatever paddleboard she's not on. We just wanted to take a minute today. It's our last full day up here um, and do a quick review and kind of a little overview of where we're staying. Um, we are staying at uh, West Shores State Park. Um, it's a campground, in Flathead Lake, Montana. There are 30 sites in total, um, two loops, loop A, loop B, Loop A is where we're currently staying. Um, there are no hookups here, so it's basically dry camping. Um, and in this loop, you have you do have your camp host, and where we're staying, they're directly below us. Um, but there, awesome they awesome people. Yeah, <laughs> both. There's two sets of camp hosts, and both of them are very, very kind. Yeah, it was really good to talk to. Really fun. Yeah. So and just below, so since they're right here, this is where they sell the firewood. And this campground is, um, you know, don't bring your own firewood, burn what they have here. So they do sell the bundles of firewood here for $6 each. And they also have ice that you can buy um, bags of ice here for, I think like $3, three dollars three fifty dollars something like that. Um, Loop B is closer to the lake. It uh, does have power and it does have water. Um, there is no dump station here. The nearest dump station that we could find is in Lakeshore. Is that the name of the town? Right. Lakeside. Lakeside, yeah. There's um, one there, it's $10, right? Yeah, it, the, there's an RV park right there where it's $10. And we drove, so we, yeah, we have the little honey wagon. We loaded it up with our gray water, drove to Kalispell. There's a Smith's there, um, grocery, Smith's grocery store with a gas station up front and they do have a dump station right there. Free. Yeah, it was free. So, what are your thoughts? So, what is this back here behind us? Is this Loop B also? Uh, this is still part of Loop A. Okay. So, we're in A2. Great spot. I love it. We first were like, ah, uh, you know, other people feel like they have more, more like hidden space. But I like that ours is wide because you walk out, we walk out our door, and we're in our little area right here, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I love it because I feel like we're in the woods still, which is great. There's a little noise from the highway right here. The mic's you probably, probably picking it, it up. <laughs> um, but I do love that we're at the state park because we're, there's a lot of easy access to the lake right here. has a um, nice little shore area with bathrooms and all that good stuff. Some fun big rocks to climb down. And then there's this really fun island out there in the water that we kayaked to and explored around. There's our paddle boards paddled out to the island and stake our claim. Um, yeah, I guess my only hang up is if you come here and you're trying to do towny stuff like um, go to Kalispell or to Polson or Big Fork, you know, any of those things or even Glacier, you're, well, you're about a half hour from those towns, what? Yeah, I'm I laughing just, at me? I'm, no, I'm laughing oh, at the dog. puppy that just decided yeah. to find its bark yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cute. 
So those um, three towns are about 25, 35 minutes away, depending where you're going. Um, Glacier National Park was about an hour, which was not a big deal. We don't mind the drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are fighting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but I like. We. I, I feel like it was a good balance. Like things are close. Like we went and did laundry today in Kalispell, and it wasn't, you know, that big of a deal. Yeah. Nice clean facilities up there. Yeah. And then, um, but if we want to the peace and quiet and just no, there's no internet service. We found if we go down and take the trash down each night because we're supposed to be very aware so we are in our country so we um take our trash out each night to the big dumpster that's covered in a chain link fence with an electric wire on the top <sighs> anyways we walk the dogs down there at night we check our phones make sure our kids are good and then you know we don't have service yeah we is, have t-mobile nice. so i've yeah. noticed some people around here do have service so i i didn't i don't know who their providers yeah. are so and occasionally we'll hear a ding and be like oh we have a little spot of service yeah. so not great for other things, I guess, streaming things, but it's, it works. Yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, and another thing to note, like in Kalispell, you do have your major, you know, your grocery stores, your Walmarts, your Lowe's, your Home Depot's, your it, cost, yeah, Costco and Polson. You do, I did notice a Walmart when we pulled into town. So like Lisa said, you're half an hour away. We're basically in the middle. I think we're closer we to Kalispell. We're on the north yeah. side of the lake. Um, Polson's another like 15 minutes away, but yeah. um, it is hard to pull into your site if there's someone yes. else in their spot. They're very tight. Especially spots. this spot we're in. Yeah. You're kind of pant. There's two big pine trees that you have got to maneuver your rig and your tow vehicle around to get in here. It took me, I don't know, four or five just back and forth just to get it in there just right yeah we're glad the people across from us weren't there at the time like their rv was there but their truck or vehicle was not so luckily we were able to yeah. kind of swing into their yeah, area their truck their tow so, vehicle would have been there uh, yeah it, i don't i would have had uh would and it's have like had to ask have them a to big, move a big rig right it's no just kinda... no it's just very i think a lot of state parks campgrounds are tight like and i love the trees around i'm not complaining yeah. it's just i love be prepared. State parks. We've seen other campgrounds around and we're like, oh, I'm glad that we're where we are because it's trees and they even like, they're kind of off-centered. So there's lots of like trees and shrubs in between. So yeah, I mean, you can see your neighbors, you can hear them, but I mean, you can't you're see not like, You're not on top of each yeah. other like an RV park. You can still open your awning and not touch somebody else's. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, the park does have, you know, it's quiet time. I think it's from seven, seven to 10 from 10 a 10 p.m to 7 a.m you know is quiet time but during those other times that you you know we've we've ran our generator a few times just to recharge the batteries in the the trailer um we do have an inverter generator so it helps it's quieter um there's also fresh water spigots throughout yes. and luckily you and know, we are in the vault hose, yeah. yeah just yes. so um no showers and they're also a few areas, um, some bear boxes that you can store your food in. Um, according to the locals, there's no bears around here, but according to the camp hosts, there uh, there are a couple. So yeah, just be smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Be bear aware. Yes. <laughs> um, our bear spray stayed in our camper. Yeah, we time. did have some bear spray, but we haven't even gotten <laughs> we got it to out. Take with us. Um, so I think the. The cost per night is roughly around thirty-five dollars. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll look it up and I'll post it. I'll put it down below. I know it's cheaper for Montana residents. Um, so, but anyway, yeah. If you're in the Flathead area and looking for uh, somewhere to stay, I I think we both I recommend, recommend here, this. Yeah, this, is yeah, this West Shore Campground, yeah. the state park. Um, there is a boat launch and a dock. I don't know. Yes. And so if you do have a boat or have friends with a boat, it's a great place, place to meet up. Yeah. And like I said, you know, beach area, but it's, you know, pebble rocks. So bring like water shoes or whatever. But then there's a couple picnic tables, which is nice and, you know, shade the trees. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, um, hope you enjoyed our adventure up here, Flathead Lake. We really did um, have any questions or comments, you know, we'd love to. Have you leave some comments down below and follow us along. Not sure where 
the next adventure will be because we got to get back to the reality reality of work <laughs> <laughs> yes. um yeah so we will see you guys all next time and yeah stay safe <laughs> <laughs> Nada. What's the matter?